Yes, the Nissan XTL is finally making a comeback to the Indian market after a gap of eight years. Which segment will this compete in? The pricing, the launch time frame, diesel or petrol, 4x2 or 4x4? Well, all your answers will be questioned in this video right away. Now, before we move further, guys, do not forget to watch our mega comparison of the mid-size SUVs, the new Grand Vitara versus the Aster, Creta and the Celtus. That video is live on the channel. The link is currently on the screen as well as in the description section below. So, after this video, do not forget to watch that video to make an informed buying decision. Now, what Nissan will offer us will be the latest 2022 model that went on sale in the Australian market just a few weeks back. Now, this one, it looks nice, it's modern, it's muscular, and yet it's striking in the way it looks. Something we also see in the other soft SUVs like the Skoda Kodiak and the Volkswagen Tiguan. Yes, this is the segment that Nissan is eyeing with the X-Tail, and this also means we can expect the pricing to be northwards of 30 lakh rupees. Another reason for the high pricing is the fact that the X-Tail will not be made in India. It will be imported as a CBU or completely built unit, and this means heavy import duties and heavy import taxes on the x -tail, thanks to our Indian government and the rules and regulations. Now, the x will be pricey, but it will also be a brand image makeover for Nissan, something that will help them in the long run with the future mass segment SUVs and mass segment products that they have lined up for the Indian market in the next five years. The same segment, by the way, also has true blue SUVs like the Toyota Fortuner, you have the MG Gloucester, you have the Jeep Meriden as well. So it's a packed segment, but definitely Nissan wants to enter it in a niche way and thereby they'll be aiming at approximately 50 to 150 units on a monthly basis. With pricing and the rivals done, a quick understanding of the engines on offer for the x -Trail. Now the last x -Trail that was on sale in India eight years back, the diesel engine was a gem of a unit. In fact, Nissan is known globally for the kind of diesel engines they offer reliability, performance, torque basically, and economy as well. But for the Indian market, the x -Trail, even internationally, doesn't have diesel anymore. Petrol is the new engine over here, and of course, e-power will also make it to the Indian shows. The first engine will be a turbocharged 1.5-litre petrol unit with variable compression ratio. Now, this one will offer approximately 163 PS of power and 300 nm of torque and will only be sold in the 4x2 format and of course an automatic a CVT will be standard on this one. Now a special mention needs to be done about the variable compression. What does this mean? Now if you're driving the car normally the engine will switch to a higher compression for better efficiency and a higher mileage. However at the same time if you need performance the engine will switch to a lower compression thereby giving that extra punch. So, Variable compression will definitely come in handy and will work the way you as a driver want it to work. The same engine will also get a 12 volt mild hybrid technology. This system provides you a lot of things. It has torque assist, it's got extended idle stop, a quick restart and a coasting stop option as well. So basically, you see a red light, you are coasting to a stop, the engine will definitely switch off. At the same time, you also have a torque boost of approximately 6 Nm coming your way for an additional punch in traffic conditions. Now, the second option will be a big highlight for this segment, the e-power option. Now, this is essentially an EV model. Why? Because only the electric motor will power the wheels and the battery for the motor will be charged by the small 1.5 litre petrol engine. So, the engine in essence basically will never power the wheels. Now, being a pure EV, expect super high levels of fuel economy as well. Now, this system comprises of a high output battery and powertrain integrated with a variable compression ratio engine, a power generator, inverter and a 150 kilowatt front electric motor. Good news for adventure seekers, the e-power will also come to you in a 4x4 setup and this model will give you over 200 horses and a combined output of 525 newton meters from the front and the rear axle. The result, 0 to 100 in only 7 seconds. Lastly, the x will be offered in both 5-seater configuration and a 7-seater configuration. Remember, the Volkswagen uh, Tiguan basically is a 5-seater, the Gloucester or the Fortuner is a 7-seater. It will be feature-loaded with all the high levels of safety, including ADAS add-ons. Nissan is currently testing the x in India. We have shown you the photographs a few days back on the new section and they say the relaunch will only happen next year. Nissan might not enter the Auto Expo, which is scheduled for the second week of January, but definitely the x will be coming to India in the first half of 2023.
So yes, the future for the Japanese giant is definitely it's green, it's mean and it's big.